Ladies and gentlemen, being in Strasbourg this week for our monthly parliamentary session, not very environmental friendly, but I've decided to address you this video message in order to welcome you in Brussels and wish you a successful conference. My work with EMAS started in 2002 when I became Minister of Mobility in Belgium. It was clear to me that my ministry had to integrate a sustainable development approach and get the EMAS registration. Today, I am the Vice President in charge of EMAS here at the European Parliament, which is registered since 2007 in Brussels, Luxembourg and Strasbourg. Because of its political role, it's important for the European Parliament to set the example and to make positive contribution to sustainable development and show EMAS contribution to the European environmental objectives. This is why I'm very happy that the Bureau of the Parliament has accepted to focus its January retreat on the environmental efficiencies of our institution. Being a green politician, I know that much more can still be done and will have to be done in order to reach real environmental standards. But I must say that I'm happy to see a Parliament that legislates relatively well on environmental issues. The next step for our institution is to become a role model and a pilot on this matter and set the example for the rest of the world's institutions and businesses. When it comes to the staff transport of this institution, it is not only about using the best efficient car, but also about strongly reducing the mileage of these cars, about breaking the dependence we have on air travel, developing a quality public transport for commuters or convincing staff to use bikes. Focus on developing staff awareness and commitment through our training is also highly important as the incorporation of strong environmental guidelines into its public procurement procedures. In the last revision of the EMAS regulation, one of the main points was an easier access to EMAS registration for SMEs. It is very important that EMAS develops into a global player, being able to be implemented on all levels of the administration and business world. On this specific project is working on this, and I believe it will be presented to you today. The Be Smarter, a learning by doing initiative initiated from Belgium in order to train environmental professionals to offer better and cost-effective coaching to small organizations who want to implement EMAS. Many other projects can be mentioned, such as Derbigum and Imperbel, which won the EMAS Prize in 2008. Finally, as you may already know, this conference is the labelled Belgian Presidency, which means that an assessment of the conference footprint has been performed. I understand that you have all been asked how you traveled here, or many days you were staying here, etc. These procedures should become common practice in order to continue improving our environmental footprint. I wish you again all an excellent conference and a pleasant stay in Brussels. Thank you.